All right, welcome back to San Andreas. Hope you guys are enjoying so far the two episodes that have come out. Don't know if we hit our like threshold. I don't care, to be honest. Before I actually start playing the game, I kind of want to explain some stuff because I really just jumped into this out of nowhere and like people are confused what's actually happening in the story, which I do not blame anyone because I literally like I like the video. If you go back and watch the first video, it's very highly edited and there's literally fuck all story. So anyway, so basically CJ's mother got fucking shot by the Balas, which is a gang. We basically came back to the city to just, you know, avenge her mom or something, find out what happened and how she died and stuff. And we come back and we're basically, you know, Back with our homies and everything. There's two cops that keep fucking uh, stalking us because uh, I think CJ committed some crimes in the past or some shit. And then you do missions, missions, missions. Try and get, you know, further and like get your revenge against uh, the Ballas. Find out that uh, Ryder and Big Smoke uh, are working with the Ballas and, the co and they're ratting you out and just basically betraying you. And then you get basically deported out of actual san andreas basically you get deported from here and there's literally no mission so you have to go get some money you have to find out you have to just do a couple stuff i'm honestly lost too so <laughs> i don't really know what the fuck's going on also if anyone's uh wondering what does the incomplete childhood thing mean it's basically a series where i'll play games where i never finish as a kid I started, but I never finished. Uh, I think it's a cool series. There's heaps of games I want to do. And there's definitely some, like, I want to play some newer games like Cyberpunk or Red Dead. Holy shit. I did not notice this. <laughs> there's three graves. And there's a shovel you can pick up. I think I have the shovel already, do I? Yeah, I don't know when I picked this up. Can I dig him up? <laughs> That'd be funny. Anyway, let's get... Uh, we're back. So let's get going on with the next mission. I'm gonna try and make these episodes 12 minutes each. I was thinking about 24 minutes, but, but that's kind of difficult because, you know, everyone has ADHD these days on YouTube. So <laughs> people are like, 24 minute video? That's very fucking long. I'm not gonna watch that. You know what I'm saying? That's a cop. Don't hit the cop. Fuck! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> God damn it. I barely scraped him. You see, I could murder 50 ballers in front of a cop and not get a wanted level. But just scraping their car is too far. Right, let's do this mission, which is wear flowers in your hair. Okay. Motherfucker! That mute asshole, that fucking snake without a tongue, gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip. I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world. Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Girl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of us. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name, and for once, I try to make something work, this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh, that's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? You are disrespectful. A idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here is fantastic. This guy, man. He's so weird. Yeah. Uh, right. Proper stoner. But how am I find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. Oh, man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. Oh shit, here we go. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines. Till the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit. But the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard, he was working at a garage over in East Basin. These graphics, man, are so weird. It's so weird in cutscenes. Hey man, how you meet these dudes anyway? I met them at the 89th year of loving, apparently. Apparently? You know how it is, man. A field of tents, crazy ass music, a quart of mescaline vodka, polar bears. Polar bears? Yeah, 
go figure. But they were funny guys, man. Great sense of humor. Okay, well, we're on our way to find some mechanics. I pretty much did these missions, but my memory of these missions is so fuzzy. Like, I did it like three years ago or some shit. I didn't complete the game though, so uh, everything past one point, which is gonna be the RC uh, airplane part, is gonna be, you know, new to me. This here's Vietnamese gang territory. Nang boys, shining razors, butterfly shooters. Vietnamese people? Yourself, dude. These cats are real serious. Are these Vietnamese people? <laughs> Alright, we here. Our car's very broken. Caps lock? Sound the horn? Hey, Jethro! Yentro! Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, truth dude! Oh, man. Do, do I owe you? Because I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man, we're good. I think. Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora District. West of here. Yeah. You sick? No, the government is. That's a long story. So, I love this know, dude. Like, what's the deal, dudes? I'm opening the garage in Doherty by the waste ground. You know, car mods, low riders, all that shit. You down? Do polar bears shit in the woods? No, but they've been known to shit in the liquor tent. If I remember it right. <laughs> yeah, that was like so far gone. Oh, uh, <laughs> why? There's like 30 version of that. Shit in the woods joke. First was the Pope. <laughs> now it's the polar bear. I want to say like while editing like that last like episode, which was actually the last two episodes, like the Pope, uh, the Pope in the woods part was so funny. I I couldn't stop laughing for the rest of the day. It's like the the, the Spanish guy's response of, uh, I told you already, Holmes. I don't know, type shit. Here we are, ho what hospital. Were you here for anyway? Nothing. Oh, don't look. Cover your faces. Think about a yellow rubber duck. You tripping again. Shh. Okay. I've seen enough. Let's go see if we can find Wayne. He's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal in Kings. Come on, dude. What's all that about? You don't want to know. Why? Do you know what a subdermal neurophone is? A what? Exactly. <laughs> the best to stay in the dark, kid. What, what is this guy saying half the time? He's so, he's so funny, man. I love this dude. Hopefully he doesn't die or some shit. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I tried to avoid spoilers for like 10 years. Dude, Dwayne, man, how's the hot dog business? It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got like some shit to take care of first though. So, uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Doherty. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> okay, next time. What is that driving? Down. What? You watch your mom. Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, okay. But you're starting to freak me out with all that space shit, man. That's a cop! Don't hit the cop! Oh, fucking hell. Almost hit another cop. Okay, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. Picture a pink golf ball in your mind. Okay. Okay, we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of. Oh, Zero. this is the, this is the RC he guy. A supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Let's go introduce you to him. Look, what's going on, True? Look, what's going on, True? Who was him do? Don't go there, man. Listen to Jethro. Now, what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janis Joplin. The only Why Scotland? In the Cold War Scotland for forever. 35 years was because snake-headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro guy. Good. Keep it that way. Man, this dude. He's kind of scaring me as well, but he's funny. What the fuck? I hope I don't need a numpad for this shit because I don't have a numpad. Leave me alone, Berkeley. This is stalking. Oh, hey, truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. 
Carl, zero. Zero, Carl. What's up? Carl here is open in the garage around the corner. I told him you're the man to speak to when it comes to electronics. <laughs> Actually, I'm the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A tip-top genius, that's me. You should drop by the shop sometime. See some of my shit, bro. I'll do that. Told me in it fun. Right, we back. The car's half fucked. And we got three dudes in the back in the fucking car. Okay, we here. A week of hard work, and we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here. What's up, B? Caesar, this Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man, dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, idiot, property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing, yeah. No, property development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn a property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is gonna get on its feet, and when it does, we are gonna have money. If you wanna make something of yourself, you gotta let your money work for you. Look, I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, okay? Okay. Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. <laughs> Man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. That's her sister, right? That's not Big Smokes, uh, or not Big Smokes, uh, Sweets Girl, I don't fucking know.